Well, good morning, and uh, welcome to Guitar Basics with Ken. Um, today we're going to work on some, just some basic chord progressions and uh, basic uh, kind of finger picking or strumming. And uh, first of all, we're going to tune the guitar, make sure we're in the A440, and make sure you may have a tuning fork, you may have electronic tuner, but always important to be sure uh, your guitar is in tune. It's always important also if it's set up properly. It's a little bit sharp. When you uh, want to bring the string down, it's important to go down below pitch and then bring it up. So that properly uh, puts tension on the string as you tune it so it'll, it'll more likely stay in tune once you hit your correct pitch. I'm looking for a G here. sharp on the E, the high E. There we go. Okay, so <coughs> now we're in tune. And I'm going to assume that you know a lot of the basics of the guitar as far as the parts, the strings, uh, the basic chords. Um, a lot of times this uh, hard to be patient to really learn and you want to get off on very complicated things before you're really ready. So for example, even on basic uh, chord progressions like C, F, and G, we can make it, um, after I've been playing for a number of years, there's a lot of different things I can do with that. some basic alternating basses with uh, hammer-ons, pull-offs, that kind of thing. But to really, um, the real base of that is just a basic um, alternating bass. Pluck strum, pluck strum, pluck strum, pluck strum. And so when you're just starting out um, learning, whether you use a flat pick, I'm using my fingernail. Um, pull out, I don't have a flat pick handy, but um, I just use my uh, my fingernail instead. But it's the same idea. Pick strum, pick strum, pick strum, pick strum, pick strum. You can do it with using a flat pick or your fingernail, or you can use your thumb and your fingers. idea so I'm just going to use my thumb and my fingers and uh, as you're learning some basic picking and strumming techniques that way um, it's it's important to really get kind of ingrained in you the basics because once you get the basics and can you, and you can basically do it uh, in your sleep so to speak then you can start working on more complicated or you know picking patterns different things. So <clears throat> we're going to just do a basic C, F, G progression and <clears throat> we're going to alternate the bass Before we do a walk up, let's just do the basic C, F, and G. So it's like that, a la 
count it out this time. One, two, three, four. you work on that you can pl practice along with me doing that and in the next um, lesson I will do uh, walk-ups and walk-downs so it'll get a little bit more add a little bit more into it as we go now of course you can do the same with different progressions you can use a, a G C and D and we'll do that a little bit too Of course, you can, once you learn these, you can play hundreds of different songs by the campfire or uh, just in your home or wherever. Um, and uh, so it's, it's really good to work on those and get those things down. So <clears throat> we'll stop here, and then uh, the next uh, step will be uh, hammer-ons. Uh, not hammer-ons, but walk-ups, walk-downs, uh, add a little bit more into the, uh, the chord progression. Okay, thanks.